Hey everyone! So today I am going to be sharing my top fall nail polish picks with you guys because as a lot of you know, I am a total nail polish junkie. I love nail polish and I love keeping up with the nail polish trends. I don't always love the trends, but I try to find a way to make the trends my own and still stay true to my personal style. So that is why I am going to be sharing my fall favorites with you guys, my favorite fall nail polishes. So I guess I'm just going to jump into the colors here. I'm going to start off with like the two Lone Rangers because they don't really fit into like the rest of the colors that I have here because I have them grouped by color and these are kind of off on their own. So um, also prepare for a lot of Essie because I've been loving Essie recently. The first polish I have here is an Essie one. This is Debush. So here's Debush up close and as you can see it's a really pretty light sage green color and this is kind of similar to Essie's Absolutely Sure but it's definitely darker and has a lot more gray in it, so it's more appropriate for fall. And the reason why I chose this color is because I cannot find an olive green nail polish that suits my skin. I was looking at Essie So Psyched, but that's a little bit too dark. And then other things just look too yellow or just, I don't know, it just, they're just not suiting my skin tone. So if you have a favorite olive green nail polish that you're loving right now, let me know in the comments below because I would really, really love to know. But I love this color for fall. And then I have another Essie nail polish. This one is Fair Game. Now, Essie's Fair Game is a gorgeous bluish gray color, like a gunmetal bluish gray color. And it's perfect for fall. It's right on trend with the metallics. And it's definitely leaning more towards the blue side here in natural daylight. But in dimmer lighting, it can look a little bit more gray. But I love this. Moving on into the girly, sparkly colors. This is Deborah Lippmann's Some Enchanted Evening. Now, Some Enchanted Evening is a color that I have just been obsessed with recently. I've actually had this on my nails for like the past week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks. But this is a gorgeous salmon glitter nail polish. And I love wearing this over the next polish that I'm going to be showing you guys. This kind of creates like a nude effect with sparkle and I just love it. It's really subtle but eye-catching at the same time if that makes sense. Like you wouldn't notice it right off the bat but when you look at it on your nails it is just so so pretty. And surprise surprise another Essie nail polish. This is Ladylike. Now this color right here, Essie's Ladylike, is the color that I love wearing underneath the Some Enchanted Evening. These two just complement each other so well and the Ladylike nail polish is a muted mauve color so it's a very soft mauve and when you put it on it's definitely pink but it can also almost pass for a nude sometimes so it looks absolutely gorgeous underneath the Some Enchanted Evening Glitter Nail Polish and it also looks very sophisticated and just very polished on its own. Now Angora Cardi is like one of my must-have colors for fall. This is a really deep mauve color with a bit of plum in it. I think this color is just so unique because it's not a really really deep wine colored red or um, purple color like you're used to seeing for fall and winter colors. This is really like an in-between color. This is like the middle ground between a mauve and a really deep wine color and I absolutely love this color. Next is Butter London's Yummy Mummy and if you haven't tried a Butter London polish I highly recommend them. They are a little bit pricey along with Deborah Lippmann but if you find a color that you really like it's definitely worth it because they're both amazing brands and um, I guess I'll just take this opportunity to tell you guys where I get my polishes from. So everything aside from Deborah Lippmann polishes I get from Ulta. So Butter London, OPI, Essie, Zoya, um, Orly, China Glaze, everything comes from Ulta aside from Deborah Lippmann. Deborah Lippmann polishes, I get them from Nordstrom and you can also order them online. Butter London is also found at Ulta but you can order their stuff online 
and yeah so that kind of gets all of those questions out of the way most of my stuff comes from Ulta and if you don't have an Ulta near you you can try looking online for these polishes now if you want something that's a little bit more taupey or more nude and not so pink like ladylike definitely go with butter London's yummy mummy the name is super super cute and this is a taupey nude color with some silver micro glitter in it. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, but there's some really, really fine silver glitter in there. So when this catches the sunlight, it just looks so pretty. And it's just a little bit more unique than your average nude. Then I have two Zoya nail polishes. The first one is Nemu. Now the camera does not do Zoya Nemu justice because the blue um, reflex in this don't really show up too much on camera, but this is a shimmery soft purple, like a metallic shimmery purple with some blue reflex in it. So when you turn it, it's slightly blue. So like a cool bluish silver and it's so, so pretty. And the second Zoya polish I have is Gem. Now Gem from Zoya is absolutely gorgeous for fall. This color reminds me of the leaves when they change color during autumn. And this is a reddish purple color with some gold duochrome. It is so beautiful and like I said, it reminds me of the changing leaves. It is just so, so pretty. Then my last Essie polish, I promise, this one is, I always forget this name, Very Structured. Essie is Very Structured is something that I normally would not have gravitated towards, maybe like one or two years ago. Actually, last year I probably would not have liked this color, but it's really interesting to see how your taste changes with time. This is a Burnt Sienna color, so think Burnt Sienna from your Crayola Crayon kit when you were a kid. It's an orangey brown color, and this also reminds me of the changing leaves during autumn. It's so beautiful, and this is definitely one of those you hate it or you love it colors, there really isn't an in-between. And then last but not least, I have one OPI polish, which is kind of surprising to me because I think this is my first nail polish video where my polishes weren't predominantly OPI, but I've just been loving different nail polish brands and exploring different brands and trying different colors and stepping outside of the OPI box. I still love OPI, but I am actually loving Essie a lot more right now and also Deborah Lippman and Butter London. So I would say those are my top three brands right now. And, and OPI has just kind of fallen to the wayside. It's still there and I still love it, but I'm loving other brands right now. But I had to include one fall appropriate OPI color because I still do like OPI a lot and this is a gorgeous color. Now this is the color that I have on my nails right now. Brisbane Bronze, the name is pretty self-explanatory. This is a bronze color and it's metallic so it's really pretty and I love it because it actually goes with the scarf that I'm wearing today but this is a gorgeous gorgeous color for fall. Alrighty, so that is it for my fall nail polish picks and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I know I love watching these nail polish videos because they're always helpful for me. And let's see, what else? Oh, make sure you tell me what your favorite olive green nail polish is at the moment if you have one because I love getting suggestions from you guys and you guys always steer me in the right direction when I'm on the fence about things or if I'm not sure about colors or if I need color suggestions, you guys are always right on point. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!